Hi, everybody. Uh, they have just called votes, and so I thank you for allowing me to interrupt your uh, flow here. Uh, look, this is uh, just great to invite and welcome everyone here uh, to this wonderful caucus event. I want to thank Representative uh, Van Hollen and Representative Riker for being the leaders of the uh, caucus that deals with renewable energy and energy efficiency. I happen to be co-chair of SEEK, the Sustainable Energy and Environmental Coalition in the House that is also joining as a sponsor, co-sponsor of the program. But I thank these two gentlemen and the members of their caucus for leading us in this effort. Let me say something very strong here that I truly believe. I believe in climate change and global warming and that we need to address that phenomenon with science and policy. As an engineer, I embrace science, I don't reject it. So I submit to this notion that we as a world are challenged by climate change. I think the naked eye can speak to that. So your industries here today are part of that responsiveness that we require. It's essential as we wean ourselves off of dependency on fossil-based fuels and grow a renewable industry and energy efficiency is seen as our fuel of choice, we will achieve and we will respond to the threats and the challenges of climate change. If you can't buy that concept, if you need to reject science, see it as job creation. See it as an impact to the positive on the quality of health of our nation and our world. See it as national security. Let me go through those points quickly. There are many, many stats already that are showing the renewable energy industry and energy efficiency industry as a job grower. We are growing many, many jobs in the green collar variety that are strengthening our economy. They provide for a sustainable outcome. With the healthcare situation, more and more stats are speaking to asthma and various illnesses that children and adults have. We can address that positively by putting together an agenda that is robust on growing the renewable energy supply out there and again, reaching to energy efficiency as our fuel of choice. And finally, not so long ago in my district, I hosted three veterans recently returning after their deployment to Iraq and Afghanistan. Two gentlemen, one from Arkansas, one from New Hampshire, and a gentlewoman from Wisconsin, all recently returned from active service in the military on the battlefield. They saw that American energy consumer dollars were going into the treasuries of foreign nations who were fighting the U.S. troops, who were trading their troops with our energy consumer dollars. So this is an issue of national security. It speaks loud and clear. Again, I'm a firm believer in climate change. I want Congress to accept that notion. Until we do, let's see it as self-sufficiency, energy independence, innovation economy, job growth, healthcare improvement, national security strengthening. Go forward, you're an industry we need. God bless you for being here, but let's do it with the fundamental principles of accepting science, not rejecting it. Thank you very much.